one at the stop. Turn right into the parking lot. All right. Have our choice. One of these has got to work, right? All right. Let's try this one. Oh, let's not try that one. That one doesn't have any. That one doesn't have any screen on. I don't think. So let's try this one. Well, hello everyone from our first stop in Bakersfield, California. We got here uh, just about a minute or two ago, and as uh, we came in, I remarked like, no one here except for us. So what I thought, our choice of four chargers, we should be just fine, right? Not so much. Take a look at what's going on here. All right, first charger, this one here is going to be your 150 and Chatamo. This one says, charger unavailable. This one here, ABB 350. Oh good, unless you want to be a Linux programmer, we're stuck on a boot up screen saying log to screen off. That's great. Next one here, another ABB 350. Look at this one says, log to screen off. And the only working charger here at Bakersfield is a 150 charger. All right, I gotta stop this edit for a minute here. So I went and I called EA to try and get him to reboot the chargers that were clearly offline. And instead for 10 minutes, the person I called couldn't even find the chargers, much less reboot them. Uh, here, listen. Thank you for calling Electrify America. This is Terry, how may I assist you? Can you give me those charger location numbers? Yep. First one is 100033-02. And what's the second one? Uh, same uh, first six, and then it's 03. 03, okay. Thank you. Okay, the screens will go off completely, and hopefully when they come back on, they will be in a charging session. I mean a reboot session. <laughs> okay. All right, can I keep you on the phone until we see if it works? Yes, yes. Um, that, what was the station, the first six numbers again? I must have written them down wrong. Oh, sorry. One, zero, 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 three, three. That's not bringing up a station. Well, uh, one, you know. and then three, zero, three, three. That's correct. It's Bakersfield, California on Enos Lane. Looking at it right now. At the Bakersfield Plaza? That's it. Well, I guess it's on Enos Lane. Um, One, zero, 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 no, three, three. Is... There's several different uh, locations I think you have in Bakersfield, but um, this one's on uh, Enos Lane, E-N-O-S Lane, I believe. But, well, I'm still looking. I don't know hmm. why it's not coming up under the number. Um, I have a target. No. Well, that's what I did is searched by Bakersfield <laughs> and it brought up the target, but nothing else. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is really weird. It comes up in another, at another like location that I have here. Hmm. Countryside Market Shell. That's it. Bakersfield, California. There you go. All right, let me see. And it's charger two and three, zero yes. two and zero three. Oh. Just oh. bear with me for okay. just a moment. Yeah, sure. Here it is, one zero zero. I had the number right, I don't know why it wouldn't bring it up. Mm. Oh. Okay, so two and three both show available, but you're saying they're stuck oh, in it. So oh. That, no, they're, uh, they have a black screen that looks like it's booting up. Like a Linux boot up screen. That's what I mean, they're stuck in a reboot. Yeah. Yeah. It's certainly not available. Screen. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm sending the hard reset now. Okay. It takes about three minutes. Okay. So your, so your status of them shows that they're available, huh? Because that's what the app also shows, too. So for whatever reason, they're not reporting the status correctly. 
All right, now they seem, oh, and it says members only, credit card reader unavailable. So it seems like the credit card reader is unavailable. Yeah, and the credit card reader is giving a exclamation point in both. So it looks like maybe the credit card reader isn't working now, but they sort of might be maybe working. At least the screen's on for both. It doesn't tell me that part. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, that seems to be the status. So at least, uh, at least they seem to be up now. All right, well, I appreciate your help with this. Um, uh, hopefully your systems will improve soon so that you can actually like know whether or not your stations are up or not. <laughs> and you can find them maybe when someone reports them. <laughs> they are working on some upgrades as we speak, but they're not working on the so. Yeah, well, on my trip down here uh, from northern to southern California, 50% of the of your chargers were all offline, so uh, I don't think any of your upgrades can come uh, too, uh, too soon. That's what I hear. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much. I thank you for calling, though, and letting us know. Have a great day. Okay, you too. Bye. Charging performance gets four stars. It took 29 minutes to go from 32 to 80% with a maximum charge peak of 128 kilowatts. That's not very high. There were no problems using Ford's plug and charge network to connect my payment method and start charging by just plugging in my car. Charger reliability gets one star. Three of the four chargers at this location were down when I arrived and I'm just lucky that we visited at an unpopular time and day for traveling. It took me at least 12 minutes on the phone with EA to have them do a hard reset on two of the broken chargers, which seemed to get them into a partially operational state. But there is simply no excuse for Electrify America failing to keep these chargers up and running, and for their customer service to not even be able to find their own stations to help you. Let's talk bathrooms and garbage. This gets three stars. This site is shared with a large gas station and a 12 stall Tesla supercharger location and it has bathrooms in its Taco Bell and in its convenience store. They were clean and didn't require you to be a customer of the restaurant or store in order to use them. Unlike most other EA locations, this one actually does have a garbage pail that's located right behind charger stall number one. The picnic tables next to the chargers are an added plus if you want to enjoy your food outdoors or to get some fresh air while you charge. Food gets three stars at this location. This charging station is at the Countryside Market Shell Station, where there is a drive through Taco Bell, as well as a Subway, Pizza Hut, and a full convenience store full of food and drink. In general, you can find plenty to eat here, but it's all fast food that's generally expensive and generally not very healthy. Finally, safety, three stars. This location scores average for safety. It is a bit isolated, set aside far back on the left-hand side of the main traffic area of the station. It is invisible from the main lit gas pump area. This location really should be placed closer to the front of the building and a convenience store to give a feeling of safety. This area does have a street light nearby for nighttime use, but it's nowhere near as well lit as the Shell Station gas pumps nearby. Overall, this location gets a 14 out of a possible 25 points. Food, bathrooms and garbage, and safety are all about average for EA. Only one of four charging stalls worked when we visited on January 3rd, 2023. It appears that EA just replaced three of the four charging dispensers at this location with their newest hardware. It'll be good to see if this improves the uptime of the dispensers at this location.